I recently had someone leave a comment about MIDI routing within Studio One, and specifically they asked how to route multiple VST instruments to a single MIDI track. I want to have a lead with five different VSTs, but I don't want to have five different MIDI tracks for that. So if we take a look over in the track column at the routing section for our MIDI, this top one to the left, this is where we choose what instrument that our MIDI is going to be sent to. So we can only choose one instrument at a time. So as far as I'm aware, we don't have a way to choose multiple different instruments within this drop down menu to send this uh, MIDI information to. Of course, you could always copy this MIDI part and then paste it onto different instrument tracks and load the different VSTs there and they'll play back using the copy uh, pattern that we have here. But this individual wants to avoid doing that and just have this one MIDI part, this one instrument track trigger multiple uh, instruments. So a workaround for that would be to use the multi-instruments feature within Studio One. So right now I've just got this BIT loaded on this track. I'll play back really quickly. Okay, so we've got a lead part, which is what he wants to do. He wants five different leads. So let's come to the browser and on the instruments tab, what you can do is let's expand out the personas, drag a Mai Tai and just drop it onto that track. And you're gonna have this dialogue asking you whether you wanna replace that, that bit VST instrument, keep it or combine. So this is the one that you wanna choose, combine. And once we select that, we can see we now have our bit and the Mai Tai at the same time. We can edit the Mai Tai, or actually I'll just go ahead and play this back really quickly. So we can hear that Mai Tai added. If you want to edit, you can click on the down arrow and choose edit, or you can just double click here and that will open up the Mai Tai. Let's come up to the preset menu and choose a lead here. Okay, and so we won't get choosy about the type of lead. I just wanna show the process here. So we can continue to add other instruments if we'd like. Let's come to the Yuhi and bring a hive in here. I'll double click on that to open up its interface. And let's come to the mono leads. I'll just select a random one. Maybe it's gonna sound, maybe it won't fit, but you'll get the idea. And we'll also bring in a Falcon and put that there and combine it. Let's double click on that to open this. And from the leads folder, I'm just gonna double click here to load that lead up. So now we've got four different instruments being triggered by this one MIDI part. Let's play this back. Okay, and so this is a pretty straightforward process. Just go ahead and drag the instruments in. If you wanna avoid that pop-up, just drag the instrument directly into this window and it's gonna be populated within here. If you'd like to remove, just click the down arrow and remove that instrument. And just keep in mind that if you want to make level adjustments between the various instruments that you've loaded, just be sure that it is selected. You'll notice the highlighted border. You can then take the volume down as I've done for the bit, if I come to the Mai Tai, notice that the fader here is gonna to change to represent its setting. So I'll just take that down a little bit. The Hive, the Falcon. Okay, so now as I click once to select these, you can see that the fader is retaining the adjustments that have been made there for the levels. A simpler way to do this would be to, let's close out the browser and open up the Mix Console. When we have this multi-instrument feature, when we're making use of that, this track is gonna contain channels for each of those. So if you notice this folder icon, if we click on that, then we can expand it out and we can see our individual VSTs that are contained within this multi-instrument. So we have level controls for each, the bit, the Mai Tai, the Hive, and the Falcon. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually apply different processing to each of the synths. So if you wanted to uh, change some things in how they sound, just go to your inserts and choose different effects or dynamic processing for each instrument as you wish. If we're working in the console and would like to access any of the instruments, of course, we can just click 
on the icon, the little keyboard icon there, and access these at any time. Okay, and so that is how you can go about triggering multiple VSTs using only one instrument track and one MIDI part.